It's Mortal Kombat time! Wow, okay. <coughs> Sorry about that, headphone users. Hello, welcome to another figure view. Today we're gonna have a look at the Mortal Kombat Ermac by Storm Collectibles. This is uh, another Comic Con exclusive. I've been waiting on this one for a long time. It's like another one that uh, popped up at Big Bad Toy Store after it came out at Comic Con, so I got my hands on it. But, uh, you know, more than that later, they have more coming out, and they have different versions coming out, but, uh, you know, I'll let you know, I will get all the ninjas that Storm has announced, but let's have a look at this one first. So here we got yet another one of the Mortal Kombat ninja dudes, I mean, I've been re reviewing so many of those, it's... I, I want to do this a little bit faster, I'm going to have a little bit more comparison. So, uh, 17 centimeters, almost 7 inches tall, a little over 7 centimeters, 17 centimeters, so a little shy of 7 inches tall. Yeah, Storm Collectibles has delivered on all the ninjas, but of course, they all look the same. The, the, the big change here being the green shiny eyes. I like the paint job on it, it looks, it looks a little bit shiny, but not too much. They didn't straight up make it metallic, but it does stick out. Uh, does he have a little bit more wrinkly face? Uh, I'll have a look at that for the comparison. But his skin tone is a lot darker and obviously he has red in his gi. For the rest of the figure, as I said, here's the detail. Um, same thing, they don't have... Well, with Scorpion they had uh, thick black lines in the belt. They left that away. And uh, I think that's better. There is still some shading, it's still darkened in there. And there's still some spots throughout the red. They're all a little bit darker. It's not that much though. Uh, it was a big difference with Scorpion. You still have uh, some dirt effects in the muscle work though. Really like that. And the arm pads. It has a bit of a worn look. With, as like with all of them, like I'm saying, I'm just repeating myself. Black spots over here. And it's also very nicely molded in the black. And we got some more worn effects in the shin pads. The knee pads has some dirt on it. So that all looks very good. So for your articulation, the head is on a long peg, it goes forward nice, it goes back. The entire neck piece is soft plastic, so that will move out of the way, will bend out of the way, and it rotates all the way around. Overall, very good motion. Then the elbow joints, you have a hinge in there that goes into a ball, and it is covered up by this floaty piece. So it rotates around very nicely, you have bicep swivel, which is a little bit stuck. There you go, goes up. And then we have the double hinged elbow and the fist on a ball hinge, back and forth it goes and all the way around. Then the entire torso area, it is soft plastic, so it will bend. It's probably just a bunch of ball joints connected to each other, but it goes forward very, very nicely. Also to the back, very good. I mean, the articulation, it's very impressive, honestly. You can also rotate around at the torso and the crotch piece wiggles around with it also has some rotation it doesn't go all the way around this is a bit blocked this is soft plastic so will bend out of the way you can customize if you want to you could take this off really take them apart and uh, custom paint jobs knock yourself out with that have some more colored ninjas legs on ball joints they do have a good range of motion because once again all of this is soft plastic bending out of the way forward to the side and to the back and uh, also rotation on the ball joint itself then we got the double hinged knee with the knee pad very nicely molded inside of it and the foot is just on a ball with a hinge so let's see it does go just a little bit to the side back and forth it's not the greatest motion but it is nice actually back and forth a lot more than i expected huh so what makes every ninja unique are the accessories. And uh, as you can tell, Ermac has a couple. I want to start off with the face mask. They all had that. You have the, uh, the Mortal Kombat 2 or 3 face mask, which is on the figure. Or you can have this one, which looks a lot more like Mortal Kombat 1, where, where Ermac wasn't really in that. But anyway, I mean, just, you know, they're doing the same figure, so you might as well have the same accessories. I bet some people would complain if you didn't have the old face mask. They yeah, have chop hands. Open posing hands, all soft plastic, and then we got two more, a little bit grabby, but uh, again, more posing hands. He does have one grab hand to hold something. He doesn't really have anything to hold, so I guess if you wanna, if you wanna swap, if you wanna give uh, 
Scorpion's accessories to him or whatnot. And then we have the two balls, his energy effects, which are... Uh, I don't know. You take him apart and you put him on his hands, all right? Uh, the thing is, like, the claws to hold them together are so big. I don't know. It looks pretty rough, if you're asking me. I don't... I've seen better energy effects. That's all I'm saying. I don't think it's horrible, but uh, it's really thick around here. So, not the greatest fan of it visually. And then we have this kind of cloud effect, which looks a lot better as I see this. What the hell is this? Okay. So we have this kind of cloud effect to uh, wrap around somebody's head as he does like a fatality or something to explode a head. Just, poof, you know, he has that in the game. And the most brutal accessory yet, the ripped off arms. Again, fatality time when he does like a... Uh, he lets somebody floats up in the air and then pfft, rips his arms out and then lets the head explode or something like that. I think there's... You know, there have been a couple of Ermac um, fatalities. And again, what the hell is that in there? Is that something broken off? I guess they just took a regular arm, broke it off, and then molded this on. And kind of forget to close this off. Hmm. That's really weird. So yeah, that's that's it. It's ninja time! What a nice and colorful brigade. Uh, you're gonna have a little bit of an overlook real quick. We have Ermac with Scorpion. And as I said, Scorpion was the first one out of the gate. And I had a lot of problems with Scorpion. I had a lot of quality control issues. And uh, that's what I'm saying. Like The joints on these have gotten a lot tighter, gotten a lot better. But in general, the figure is still basically the same. Yeah, this, the face is uh, just as wrinkly. And as I was saying, Scorpion has a lot more black spots. Kind of random black spots in his outfit. And he has some thick black lines in the belt. Which uh, I wasn't a fan of back then. Again, so I think they have improved quite a bit over time. With uh, you know Scorpion being the prototype being out there. And then we had Sub-Zero as the second one. Who still had some of the black lines in there. But they were a bit cleaner, and he still had also some black spots on the uh, on the blue. But uh, yeah, the lines then gone, and the same thing is for the the detail in the shin pads and whatnot. Noob Cyber was kind of like a special one. I mean, he's all black and has the see-through arms, so uh, there's not obviously there's no black lines in the belt. But the same can be said for the um, for the detail in the armor and whatnot. That's it hasn't changed. I mean, you don't need to change it because it looks good. And then the final one that was just pretty recently was um, Reptile. Obviously, he has a different face. And he was really good with accessories. And I love that he has a different face. Of course, I'm always going to use this one because at least he stands out a little bit. And uh, yeah, the lines, the black lines around the belt were already gone at that point. So that's kind of like the evolution of the ninjas. And that's really it. There's nothing else. That really changed. As I was saying at the beginning, I'm gonna get rain and smoke, but I'm probably gonna get the blood version. Now the thing is about this, rain and smoke are New York Comic Con exclusive, and to get the exclusive is possible, but it's gonna be more expensive. And uh, you know, the blood versions are exclusive to Big Bad Toy Store, where I'm gonna buy them anyway, probably. Moving on to the final thoughts, yes of course, I mean this is not a Stella entry in the Mortal Kombat Ninja line, but as I mentioned, they all pretty much look the same. So if you only want one, I mean, pick your color, there's gonna be gray and purple coming out. So if you like those colors more, you can have those. But yeah, that's gonna do it as usual. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figures, gameplay stuff, and whatever Ermac wants. And I have forgotten one thing, one more reference I have to make. We are many, but you are but one. <laughs>